I'm Rob Cardwell, and here's some of the day's top stories on CBS 6. The rain from Elsa is still impacting roads across our area, with a number of roads still closed due to high water. At one point, flooding shut down about 70% of the streets in Petersburg. Officials say at one point, a city work crew even had to be rescued from high water on Bowling Brook Road. Several state parks are expected to reopen today after being evacuated due to Tropical Storm Elsa. The evacuation impacted hundreds of people at six Virginia state parks, including two in Virginia Beach, one in Northampton County, Bell Isle State Park in Lancaster, and Westmoreland State Park. Visitors with reservations will be given a partial or full refund or have the choice to reschedule. A rising kindergartner will have quite the artifact to bring to show and tell when he goes back to school in Henrico. Five-year-old Xander Buck here was searching for shark teeth with his dad. They were vacationing in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at the time. When he made that rather large discovery, he found what appears to be a megalodon tooth. The prehistoric shark became extinct two and a half million years ago. That species said to be among the largest sharks ever to exist. As for the fate of his prized find, Xander hopes to turn the giant tooth into a necklace. And now here's Tom. All right. Thanks a lot, Rob. Today, 90 degrees. It'll become partly sunny. We're starting out nice and bright, though, but we'll see more afternoon clouds. There'll be a few afternoon or early evening storms today. Not as nearly like yesterday, don't get me wrong, but there'll be a few scattered around the area. Clearing then overnight tonight, a very pleasant night. Uh, Elsa moves out to sea. There's a cold front out to our west that'll be moving through later, and that's going to help spark some of those showers or storms. Uh, dry Saturday and then a few afternoon storms Sunday and Monday as we get back to the 90s, even the mid 90s by the mid of, uh, middle part of next week and the 70s at night. And that's how we're looking. I hope you have a great weekend from CBS 6, the Weather Authority.